Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. All right, y'all. It's officially day five in Puerto Vallarta. I'm just heading out for the day. I haven't eaten anything. Um, so good thing I ate like a few bananas. These the sunglasses I bought yesterday, y'all. So I'm walking, headed to go and get some food. So the restaurant I was going to is closed, but right, uh, like a one minute walk is where I'm at now. It's the buzz. I'm here drinking this Betty Healthy Juice. It got orange, carrot, ginger, turmeric, and lime. So I'm about to order me some food. This is a vegan restaurant. They got all type of stuff, y'all. Chili dogs. I think I'm gonna get some, some chili cheese fries. Um, we shall see. So I made it out of the restaurant. The food was good. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll tell you the chili cheese fries. That probably was my favorite meal since I got here. Uh, the tacos, they was fried tofu tacos. Um, they were cool, but I had to ask for more Thousand Island dressing. So that made them good. Um, I was gonna get the cauliflower wings. Now I might just go back from the cauliflower wings because their batter was really good. It reminds me of uh, Kim's wings batter. If you're from Cleveland, you know you know. But it reminds me of a really good chicken wing batter. In Cinco de Diciembre, the guy just asked me, "Did I live here?" I swear, I will, I will swear I live here too. I'm just comfortable as I don't know what. Um, but you got to blame Playa for that. You got to blame Playa for that. But um, I'm a straight shot to Cintro, so I don't know. I'm just about to walk it out. I don't feel like walking no more. Let's check these out. Look at these. Mexican sandals. That's cute. All right, so I didn't walk too far and I'm already at, uh, I'm in Centro. So it's pretty nice down here. It's a vibe down here, I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm actually, yeah, if I walk just a little bit more, I'm gonna be at El Melicon, which I was planning on going on there, going there. Um, I don't know what I was planning on going there. So I guess I'm here now. I'm gonna go check it out. And I might just, it's actually getting late. I might just stay out here like another hour or so and watch the sunset. All right, so I didn't walk from the Cinco de Diciembre, and now I am in Zona Romantica. No, gracias. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can see why this is um, 
the popular area. This is definitely more touristy than anywhere I have been thus far. It's very nice, scenery is very beautiful, but now they hawking you down. They wasn't hawking me down before, not in uh, Cinco uh, de Diciembre, not, in, uh, not even in Centro. Now I'm in a romantic zone. Zona Romantica and it's very busy on a weekday very busy so I'm gonna show y'all so I'll be back um, here in a couple of days I got a couple of expat events I'm going to you know your girl was gonna find an expat events I know the black people's out here now <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna do that in a couple of days and I'll be more so on the streets this is like a strip like the tourist strip, so I'd be more so, I believe, in the streets. But I am gonna stay and watch the sunset. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here or I'm gonna start walking back towards my house. I don't know yet, but we gonna find out. The funny thing is, I didn't meet nobody who told me about the expert events. I found that stuff online. That's a Virgo for you. All right, so I met a tour guide lady. Um, if you want to go on any tours in Puerto Vallarta, hit her up, Fernanda. Tell her that Katiba sent you. Me and Fernanda, we hit it off, okay? That's my girl. I ain't digging in my nose, y'all. It's my nose ring. So look, hit Fernanda up. Here's her number on WhatsApp. She got all the tours for the low, 1,000 pesos. All inclusive, lunch. All that good stuff. I might check her out. I do got, I told you I got one special thing planned. Um, so I'm going to do that for sure. I don't think I'm going to do no other type of tours, but you never know. But when I come back, I'll keep Fernanda's uh, information. So this pier is, uh, was in my plans for a couple days from now, but it's just funny how I was just talking about my video about speaking things into existence i didn't know exactly when i would come but i knew that i was coming and i might still come back in a couple of days to watch the sunset but this pier is a nice place um i hear that they light it up at night and stuff so the sun is about to set and uh yeah let me show y'all all so they got seats and stuff we got all the boats out let me show y'all the boats. So yeah, I think this would be a nice place to watch the sunset. I don't know. I'll be able to see it though. Uh, the sun is literally right here. I don't know. I think I might stay right here for real, for real. And then take an Uber home. made it back i wanted to stay later but um my phone was on five percent i know i'll be pushing it with the percentages now i did have my charger but i wasn't trying to go up in nobody's establishment to um charge my phone i needed to grab water call my uber so i did that i made it home with like two percent y'all <laughs> i'll be pushing it with the phone charger um, but something told me to bring my charger though. So if all else fell, I would have wouldn't been an establishment. But I was just trying to make it home at that point. So I'm back. I'm about to relax, uh, get a shower, relax for the night. And tomorrow is gonna be a pretty chill day, but we shall see. I think I'm gonna take y'all along still. I mean I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying Puerto Vallarta. Somebody else asked me that I live here. I'm 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 looking like I live here now. <laughs> I told her, I was like, no, nah, but I had just came from Playa. She like, that's the uh, tour lady I was telling y'all about. She like, um, yeah, I heard it's mostly Americans there. I'm like, I don't know about mostly, but um, it's, a, it's a lot of us and Canadians. But anywho, 
um, I see y'all tomorrow on day six, is it? Day six. Day six in Puerto Vallarta. I'm about to go, of course, to get some food. Um, I'm really, I'm able to maneuver now without the map. So I know how to get to where I'm going for the most part. Just when I get close, I'm gonna need to put in the spot, the name of the spot and follow the maps there. So that should save my battery a ton of juice. So I shouldn't be out here crazy, but I'm still taking my charger with me because I don't know how long I'm gonna be out. I don't have much plans. I do got, um, I just wanna look around. I still got a couple things I wanna find. All right, so I just left the restaurant. Um, it was cool. Honestly, they got on my nerves. They messed up some stuff. They, I didn't realize that they was closing. This is why they was closed yesterday. This is the restaurant I was gonna go to yesterday. So, but it was a pretty good veggie taco. Just, um, it was like the last order of the day. So they did me a little bit dirty. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I'm out in these streets. Um, I'm still looking, I decided not to get flip flops, like not just no regular flip flops. I want some sandals because I am going out tomorrow and I want to have some a decent pair of shoes on my feet. So we shall see. All right, so I'm back where I was at yesterday, but I decided to cross the street because I didn't get to see um, the stuff on this side of the street. So same road, I just crossed the street. So I can see what's popping on this side. All right, I done made it back down to Central, which I wasn't trying to do, but I'm here. I found a ducked off spot in Central. You had to go through this little walkway. And they got some stuff. So I'ma check out all of these shops. See if I can find anything, y'all. Anything. that I decided to come to Central and walk the back streets back. I found these babies for the 150, okay? That's like $8 USD, so you really can't beat it. Um, it was between this and some leather sandals, but I didn't see none that I liked that they had my size in. I seen plenty I liked, but they didn't have my size, so I'm gonna grab these. So it was between some cute sandals and some uh, loafers, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab these sandals. So I went on and bought the sandals, y'all. I see they got a casino here, which I I seen before I left that they got a casino, um, a new casino in Playa del Carmen, which I was skipped about. So I peeked into this one. It looked legit. I talked to the man, see how it works and stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm a gambler at heart. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I might check them out before I leave. I told him I'll come back. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I might spend a couple bucks, make a make a ton, you know. We shall see. But I'm about to grab some food um, to go. Probably have a drink. All right, y'all. So it's day seven. I am headed out to first get some dinner. It's this really um, 
good looking Raymond spot really good reviews actually all vegan Raymond so I'm really excited to try that that's gonna be in Central and then I'm going to walk to Zona Romantica to go to um, a Black History Month event and then after that I don't know what I'm gonna do if there's gonna be time in between the two events but then there's gonna be an R&B social so I'm dressed let me show y'all the well first I found these shoes remember I was struggling to get to find some shoes I found these really cute my style um these this is my first time wearing this outfit all together because I haven't worn the pants yet because they were too big but then I washed them and they shrunk so that was a good call let me show y'all the fit All right, I'll see y'all at the Raymond spot and then we're gonna go from there. Bien, yeah. Lito? Yeah. Uh, the Tokyo Shaoyu The Korean chicken? Chicken? Si. Korean half. Okay. Es todo. Mango de tomate? So I'm walking to the event. I got an 11 minute walk. Look y'all, that food was so good. If you in Puerto Vallarta, make sure you go to the, the Vigana uh, Raymond. I don't know what the name of it, but it's in Centro. Um, so good, that was the best food. That probably was the best Raymond I've ever had, literally. The broth was so good. I tore that stuff up, the fried, the fried chicken. But um, I'm not sure, they got a parade coming. Let me show y'all the parade real quick. I don't know what's the occasion. so much was gonna be going down today um, on a weekday in Central Ola. What? No. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know what that guy said. But look, I had to I had to get in and get out because I'm already late per usual. So I had to get in and get out. They was jamming though. That band was jamming. I would have stayed longer if I ain't had nowhere to be. So I see y'all uh, when we get well when I get to the event. All right, first off, this is some bull because this bridge looking real sketchy. But I'm about to go across it. I'm going to trust it. it look, people doing it now. Got the nerve to be over some water. <laughs> I want to do it. Uh, it look like it shake, y'all. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, actually. Oh, shoot. Let me get off of here. Oh. All right, I got to go. Oh. 
All right, y'all. That was that was pretty freaky. It was a little movie, and they got the nerve to have another one. Hola. Hola. You going across that bien, you too? Bien. Gracias. Oh no, está bien. Oh, we making it. Okay, this one not as shaky. This one more sturdy. Okay. Cause now he was trying to hold my hand across the bridge. And then he turned around. Uh uh. That's how you can't be friendly with folks. They they think you uh I don't know. And then I don't know. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Just can't be too friendly. All right. Alright y'all, it's a day eight. I just want to share that I'm feeling overwhelmingly grateful to be here. I just I just was looking out at my view like literally this is my life. Like this is so unrealistic. Like I'm here in this place that they say is dangerous, they say don't come to, and the people are wonderful. Like the atmosphere is great, the energy is on point, the weather is beautiful. The sun is shining bright. I, I can't be more grateful to be here in this situation. All right, so I'm headed to my next Airbnb. All right, y'all, so apparently the Airbnb was not nice like I thought it was. Very nice in the pictures, very misleading, okay? <laughs> and I've had other, I had other issues as well, so I ended up leaving that spot to be back in the building of my first spot <laughs> but i knew what to expect and on top of that darn it everything was booked up so it's like that's fine i'll just take an uber um into town when i need to i got a couple things planned um so yeah i'll just take an uber like i know what to expect with this spot i didn't have no time for no extra issues with no new spot so I don't look at it as like I'm on vacation. I'm literally just living. I'm traveling. That's what I do. So yeah, I'm about to go get some food. It's late in the day. I haven't ate yet. So I'm gonna go get some food and I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the day. It is day, what's today? Mm. It's day eight. It's day eight now. So. Yeah. Alright, so as y'all can see, I found a plaza right by my Airbnb, which I didn't know was here, so I'm glad that I uh found these restaurants, these two restaurants. They got a gym, they got a kids place, they got a nail place, they got they got some stuff up in here. Oh, they got a couple nail places. Uh, La Banderia. I do need to wash my clothes. So yeah, this gonna be my this gonna be my kicking spot for real, for real. Um, for this next week. Besides the other stuff I got planned. Solo traveling has been every bit of amazing. I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Peace.